Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here and the time is finally here Suyu emulator has officially launched for Android devices and PC In today's video we'll be setting it up But before doing that let's take a look at the official announcement made by the Suyu emulator development team Where they have delivered their first official binary release You guys can check out the features, full rebrand, queue launch initial integration as we saw in our previous video You can literally turn any Android device into Nintendo Switch UI New UI options and improvements and much more Basically this brand new version of Suyu emulator is now available on its official git labs which is provided in their official website Suyu is an open source nintendo switch emulator for android which is probably completely legal with that being said let's jump right into the setup procedure just tap on the get started option then tap on next afterwards you'll need to import your keys that you have dumped from your nintendo switch once you do that you'll need to select your folder where you have dumped your nintendo switch games afterwards as you can see it says done you are all set now we are not still yet set we'll need to tap on the continue button you will see all the games that are present on my android device and it should be playable but wait We'll need to set up other things. By the way, right here is the Suyu emulator's logo. We'll check out the best settings later on in today's video. But first of all, you can import and custom GPU driver for best performance and graphic quality. For today's video, I'll be using the Mesa Turnip Adreno driver revision 17. By the way, don't forget that there is so much more to come for this emulator. There will be lot of improvements, lot of new features and UI changes in future. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest Suyu emulator videos. Anyways, let's start off by talking about the best settings so let's go to system afterwards make sure to disable limit speed percentage and also disable dock mode but if you want better graphics quality you can use dock mode which i'll be enabling for today's video afterwards go to graphics accuracy level keep it at normal but for games like mortal kombat or any game like jump force dragon ball z Kakarot, etc you can set the accuracy level to high if you face any graphical issues Resolution scaling will keep it at 0.75x. V-Sync mode will be turned off. FSR sharpness is 25%. Let's scroll down. Disk shader catch has been enabled. Force maximum clocks as well as asynchronous shaders will also be enabled. And aspect ratio will be force 21 is to 9 or stretch to window. Once that has been done, let's go to the debug section where CPU backend is set to native code execution, API is Vulkan and CPU debugging is disabled along with CPU accuracy set to auto. So these are going to be the official best settings of Suyu emulator Android and once you are done with the best settings, you can go to applet launcher and check out the queue launch feature of the Suyu emulator where you literally get a Nintendo Switch UI so we can tap on the start button and there is one bug with this uh, release of Suyu emulator where if you use stretch to window aspect ratio then you will get similar aspect ratio uh, to fix this you will need to go to uh, graphics we will need to change the aspect ratio to 21 is to 9 and then go back and now we get a proper aspect ratio and this is also completely working including audio so that's pretty cool i guess 